Tervetuloa taas Itäraportti-ohjelmaan. Kuten huomaatte, niin olemme nyt vähän erilaisista lavasteissa mitä yleensä, mutta siihen on syynsä. Nimittäin tällä viikolla kuvaamme täällä IRTVllä uusia sarjoja arabian kielellä. Ja niissä on vieraana tohtori Raif Asap ja me olemme saaneet Raifin tänään Itäraportin vieraaksi. Eli tutustumme vähän häneen ja sitä kautta myös tähän TV-työhömme arabiaksi. Tervetuloa. Welcome, Raif. It's a pleasure. Raif, um, we would like to hear about your background because it's interesting. You you come from Egypt and you are a doctor. You you were um, you had a successful career in a medical side, but now you live with your family in the U.S. and for many years you have been there and you work as a pastor. Yes. How? Well, Why? well, just uh, that's what you said. <laughs> uh, I was born in Egypt. I finished my medical uh, studies in Egypt. I, uh, I, uh, I did lots of research for the uh, infectious diseases. Uh, I did work in the medical field for about uh, seven years. Then God called me to the ministry in 1983, and. Um, uh, it was a challenging call and it was not that easy. Not because I uh, am quitting a good job, but because I, I am going to serve the great God. And uh, I felt I'm not worthy to do that. And uh, it was so challenging for me. Uh, but uh, he accepted by his grace that we serve him. So I did uh, quit my work. Uh, in 1983, in 19, from 84 up to 88, I was studying theology in Egypt, and uh, I was uh, pastoring a church. In 88, I went to the States uh, for the reason to study. Uh, so I did finish my master and my doctorate in uh, Portland, Oregon. Uh, I went back to Egypt in 1992, but it didn't work out that to stay, uh, not because of my choice, but because out of my choice. So I had to go back to the States. I was teaching in George Fox University for uh, five years. Uh, then I moved from Portland, Oregon to New Jersey. And uh, since then, I'm, uh, I'm pastoring the church. Uh, it is, uh, it's a blessed church. It is God in his grace just as doing great work in the church. When I went to the church in 1997, we were about 30 people in the church. Now it is close to 500 people. So it is, as God is blessing us. So this what is me. <laughs> yeah, for so many years you have been as a pastor. Do you have other like uh, ministry? Uh, you are a pastor, do you, do you do something else there in New York? Well, well, uh, uh, God is God is by His grace is using my my life for uh, evangelistic ministry all over the earth everywhere. So I do evangelism uh, campaign and uh, and I uh, I do to be uh, just uh, uh, programs. Um, uh, so just uh, I'm in His hands. This is uh, the way to say it. Uh, uh, we have a great ministry with our RTV. Uh, for the Code for Life ministry. And the, the Lord is blessing us in a way you can't imagine in, in, in Europe, in the Middle East. And uh, we are planning to have a big campaign in New York in July this year. So, uh, so the ministry, it is everywhere. And I'm a speaker in many conferences all over the earth. And uh, just uh, it is, it is uh, His grace. And um, how about this TV ministry? How did it begin and how did it be begin with IRA TV? Uh, well, well, it did begin, it did begin in, in a way that uh, we praise God, the, 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 the work of uh, uh, Hani Hanin and his dedicated life to Christ. Uh, he had many visions that we, we, we go with TV ministry and God in his Mercy, just uh, he's, uh, he's doing this ministry in a way now uh, it covers everywhere on the earth. So we started the ministry about maybe seven years ago 
with a program it calls From Life. Then we were moving after that uh, to do a discipleship program. Now it is covers the whole earth. It calls uh, uh, From the Shepherd Desk. Uh, then we, um, we start to think about something else to be devotional, uh, to help the people daily to get a devotion, to help the people to get change and to, to be able to pray and so on. So we start a program called Call for Life. And uh, because of what is going on in our earth, we start thinking about another program that's called School of Life. So the School of Life is talks about the challenge that we are facing because of the, 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 the everywhere now the, the our world is not settled. So we do now uh, the three programs. I just, it's myself. Uh, but, uh, but there is many, many other programs produced from here. So the story was a great story, and it is, it starts small, but now we cannot, we don't know how we can handle it. But by God's grace, it's moving. And one of the channels that broadcasts these programs that you do here uh, is by Father Zakaria. Yes. And uh, the name of the channel is Redeemer. And it's quite a new, new thing. Uh, and you are one of the faces who is teaching there. So how do you feel about this channel and um, being one of those faces who, who are there? Uh, Father Zakaria, he is, he is a character person. He is he's an amazing man. This man, he's dedicated to the ministry, uh, to reach uh, the Muslims, and, and this is in his heart. Uh, and the Lord was blessing him in the past. Now uh, the Redeemer uh, uh, channel, it is, uh, covers the whole earth everywhere now. And uh, I, feel, I feel happy that, that he is giving different angles uh, of ministry not just ministry to Muslims, but it's good to do ministry to nominal Christians, to go to do ministry for Christians, they need to grow. Uh, they do uh, discipleship programs as the desk of the shepherd. So, so I, I feel that the channel now, it is, it is a good cocktail. It is, it is a mixture of different uh, flavors. Uh, but uh, but uh, I, uh, I support this uh, ministry. And I think the channels, it is one of the best. Now, very, very much uh, expanded and lots of viewers now and the audience is too big now. So I believe, I believe it, is, uh, it is doing the, the job and it's a great job. We have a couple of minutes left and I would like to know your point of view. Uh, how do you see the situation uh, that is uh, very, very much changing in the Middle East and the yeah. North Africa? Yeah. So uh, do you, um, what is your estimation about the result? Well, well, well Ruth, let me tell you that. Uh, my point of view that God is in control. This is my belief. Not, not because I'm too spiritual in our spiritualizing things, but, but God is holding the situation in his hand. I know it doesn't look good, especially, especially now uh, in Egypt, as example, uh, the Islamic movement, it is, it is expanding, and it is now the only uh, people in the scene. But you know what? God is moving in a way like I give you example what happened in, in the New Year's Eve that the first time in the history of Egypt, they have praise and prayer in the middle of a Tahrir Square. And this is the, the hope inside uh, the heart of the people in Egypt. But uh, it doesn't look good when you look to the picture. But I believe it's going to be great because God is in control. I know, I know we don't have, no one predict what is going to be. But, but we trust him, we believe in him. That is going to do something good. This is what I can say. But now, no one predicts. No one knows what's going on. It is everybody, there is lots of crimes, lots of people not safe, lots of fear. You can't walk in the street safe, and all of this kind of stuff. But because God in the picture, and he loves the people in Egypt and the North Africa and, and everywhere. He died for these people, so. Okay. Yeah. So could we also think that it's, it's a very big uh, possibility 
to spread the gospel in the Middle East, I mean? Absolutely. This is the time. I, I believe this is the time. The time now because the people desperate. The people they are full of fear. The people they are not secure. So they need, they need something to give them peace. Something to make them uh, feel there is a hope. Because the people, they are losing the hope. So I believe it is time now to move on uh, with, with campaigns, with, with uh, outreach ministry, with uh, spreading uh, uh, just DVDs, CDs, literatures, Bibles. And I think this is the time. I believe so. Okay, now we need to close this program, but uh, I'm very thankful you, you came. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. And God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Näin päätämme täältä Itäraportin studiosta. Raif Asab oli siis vieraanamme täällä. Ja muistutan vielä sinua siitä, että näiden ohjelman tekijöiden lisäksi tähän tiimiimme kuuluu myös sinä ja sinun laisesi ihmiset täällä Suomessa. Nimittäin tämä työ ei voi, voi olla mahdollista ilman sitä, että meillä on tukea ja rukousta takanamme. Joten kutsun sinuakin mukaan tähän työhön. Ja vaikka tämän lehden tilaamalla voit tehdä sen, nimittäin tämä on Itäporttilehtemme. Se on ilmainen tilaajalleen ja voit tilata sen tuosta ruudussa näkyvästä numerosta tai vaikkapa meidän nettisivujemme kautta. Ja Iera TV on myös Facebookissa, joten löydät meidät sieltä tarvittaessa myös. Nyt kiitän seurastasi ja ensi viikolla palaamme asiaan Itäraportissa, joten näkemiin. المفتاح المناسب يفتح الأبواب المغلقة. Monia Pohjois-Afrikan ja Lähi-idän maita pidetään suljettuina Kristuksen sanomalta. Tosiasiassa sielläkin elää kristittyjen yhteisöjä. Kristilliset TV-ohjelmat ovat tärkeä hengellinen avain alueelle. Ohjelmat vahvistavat kristittyjä ja heistä kasvaa rohkeampia Kristuksen todistajia. Satelliittikanavat ylittävät rajoja. Ne pääsevät koteihin myös syrjäisissä kylissä. Ohjelmat piristävät korutonta arkea. Nuorille ohjelmat antavat raamatun näkökulman elämään. Ne opastavat tulevaisuuden suunnitelmissa ja ihmissuhteissa ja auttavat kohtaamaan arjen haasteita. IRRTV tekee arapeille ja muslimeille satoja ohjelmia joka vuosi. Ohjelmat näkyvät päivittäin miljoonille katsojille.